Hello, Kevin Savatella here with One Team Realty. I want to thank you guys for stepping in today. If you haven't met me before, it's a pleasure meeting you guys through the TV or phone. And I hope you could join, keep joining me for more Central Florida real estate content. But today we're in Orlando's, the city of Orlando's newest community called Everbee. So this is the biggest community going on in the city of Orlando outside of Lake Nona. So you're not gonna wanna miss this one. I mean, this community is gonna have 3,400 homes and that's between 10 phases. And it's gonna have all the amenities that you can want. If you want the gym, the clubhouse, amazing pool, playground, even the city of Orlando is putting a community park here and you're really close to major highway accesses and a lot of stuff close by here. Even UCF is really close by. But the home we're gonna be checking out today is called the Coral. Now, what you see behind me is a, is a two story, but standard, it comes as a one story at just under 2,000 square feet. But if you wanted to, you can make it the Coral Grand. And the Coral Grand makes the two story, giving you a big loft upstairs and an extra room adding about a thousand square feet to the house. So if you want that extra space upstairs but having a nice one store, this might be the one for you. So I want you guys to enjoy this tour and come on in. Okay, now let's go take a look at the Coral Dash Coral Grand. So the Coral is normally a one story, but they made this one the Coral Grand that adds the second floor. So standard comes as 1935 square feet with two bedrooms and two bathrooms but could be made up to five bedrooms and three baths. Now this home starts in the high 500s and then with the second floor option, then that adds about 60 to $90,000 to the house. So keep that in mind, but that money is well worth it. Now, right off the bat, the one of the things that seem pretty weird, but cool to me is this little piece right here. I've never seen any builders do something like that. But yeah, this one definitely looks really nice up front. It has a huge front porch right over here. I love the siding work and everything. So let's go on in and check it out. And so you are welcome with the eight foot glass front door, which is beautiful. It definitely makes the house a little statement piece actually. And coming on in, you are welcome with a two story foyer. Now, of course, you only get this if you do the Coral Grand option. So it looks awesome. I love two story foyers. And then going right over here, you got your first bedroom and bathroom. So right here will be a full bathroom if you do the Coral or the Coral Grand. What do you think of these hexagon? shapes. Hexagon is the right shape, right? It's not octagon or pentagon. I think it's hexagon. I don't remember my third grade geometry. But right here you got your first bedroom. Definitely a nice chill vibe in this bedroom. Here you got your closet space. But I like the, the chill vibe that this room gives. And then right over here, I'm assuming you got a linen closet since it's right next to the bathroom. Nope, just a coat closet, but I'm pretty sure sometimes they might do it as a linen closet. But let's continue further along. So I'm assuming right here, you get a study, of course, as what you can see. I'm assuming you can make this into a third bedroom because the core comes as a two bedroom. So I'm assuming this could be a third. But in the meantime, right now, it's just a study or a den, office, whatever you want to call it. And I, I do like the, the spindles that they did right here. I know it's very minimal, but it does look nice. And right over here, we will have the garage. So just your standard two car garage. And then we'll continue down here where you have 
some storage space for under the staircase. Of course, you don't get under the staircase storage on the regular coral. But then right over here, you got the laundry room. Now it does have the upgraded laundry sink package where it gives you some cabinets and the sink of course and then you got your washer and dryer right here with upgraded cabinets right there as well and you get a little window too to let in some natural light into your laundry room so here we'll go in reverse to check out the main living space of the house that is pretty impressive actually i mean take a look at this big living space right here now, I don't think the way they have it set up is very practical with those couches like that, but it looks really nice. Of course, you're going to want to set your couches to look at the TV. So maybe you could do like a big sectional over here or the sectional over there, or maybe two sectionals, one right here and then one over there. Ooh, not a bad idea, huh? And right over there, you got your dining space. So you got a little six seater table. I will probably put a bigger rectangular or a bigger square table right there. And then right over here, you got your kitchen. So pretty nice island where you got three bar stools there. You could probably put four, but they did some extra cabinetry right there. But what do you guys think of this kitchen? I love the pendant lights. I believe the brown colors are making a comeback. I know we've been in the whites and the grays for a long time, but if you look at the videos, you're going to see more and more and more and more model homes with these style brown cabinets. And I do like them, but I don't know if I'll do it on my home yet. Would you do it? I don't know. Right here, you got your pantry. Definitely a decent size. Here they did do the gourmet kitchen option that gives you the microwave mounted on the wall and then your oven on the wall as well. And here you'll just have a cooktop with the microwave, with the vent going out. And you can see right there, it is vented to the outside. So when you turn this on, it sucks all the air outside of the house. And then here they did do a pretty fancy fridge. But hey, it's just your normal fridge, like a like a French door fridge, I guess. Hmm, that freezer is pretty cool, though. And it looks like you could configure. If you want the bottom right side to be a refrigerator, or you could leave it as a fridge. Pretty interesting. And what do you think of the backsplash? That is very unique. Something different. But let's continue on this way and take a look at the patio. Now, I believe this is an upgraded lanai, but you do get a lanai standard on this home. But hey, who wouldn't want an outdoor kitchen in Florida, huh? I'm already planning my next home and this is a must for me. I mean, I like to barbecue. I got the Blackstone where it's like a flat top griddle instead of the barbecue like this. But this is pretty sweet. You got a little refrigerator right here. You got some storage right there, some extra storage right there, and the vent to take out all the smoke. And of course, you got the table. Everybody's watching you cook, making burgers, some steaks. And look at this big lanai. And right over here, we got this nice little soccer field. Now, what do you guys think? Put in the comments right now if I'm going to make this goal or miss. Let's see. Ah, oh, I miss. It came back. No, let me try again. Let me try again. Now I'm going further. So let's see. Ah, oh, I suck at soccer. Sorry. But hey, this is pretty cool too right here. I've never seen something like this where it's like, I don't, I guess it's like cement work going all the way around with some tavertine pavers as seats and these big nice things with a fireplace right in the middle. Pretty cool. Definitely some inspiration to be taken right there. Now let me put the soccer ball back. I like to leave the model homes the way I found it. All right. 
two nice little chairs right there as well. And there I am right there. Your crazy YouTuber realtor. All right, so we still got the upstairs to go and also a master suite. But let's take a quick look at the master. Definitely a good size master here. You can see you got nice stands on both sides, nice big king size. And right in front, there is still plenty of space for it's in the bed and the dresser right in the front. And a nice little chair at the corner. And then you could also be in your room and then watch me miss the goals in the soccer field. Now let's check out the master bathroom where it has a humongous shower. If you like big showers, then this is the spot for you because Pote does huge showers. So right here, you got your double sinks. I am a fan of the black faucets and hardware. So everybody has a different taste, but I'm a big fan of that. And then right over here, all of this right here is your shower. So we'll take a peek on inside. So I like how you could just walk on in. You don't have a door here. And in here, they actually put two shower heads. And then you got them right here. So you could turn it on without getting wet. But we're in a new community and they don't have water here yet. Keep that in mind. You do got a shower niche that you are able to put as well, as well as the bench. And right over here, you get the toilet room. And then here you got the master closet. Definitely a solid size. I wouldn't complain about this closet either. You got your linen closet as well. Always good to have those. And now we gotta go upstairs. So yeah, I'm trying not to waste your guys' time and get there quickly. But look at this cool option you got here that you can put on the side of your island for extra storage space. Pretty cool. All right, now we will resume over here. They did do the spindle option over here. That looks pretty cool. Now I know in the introduction, I did say adding the grand option adds one bedroom, but it actually adds two bedrooms. Now this home, this model home, they filled it up with games. I mean, they have, I think it's called shuffleboard. So like you gotta try to push it and land it on the biggest number over there. So let's, let's give it a shot. Ah, everything was in the way I couldn't do it. That's my excuse. <laughs> but yeah, look at the size of this loft. I'll probably put a pool table or a ping pong table. I'll say on that wall, you can put a TV or that one right there. A pretty good size here. And you got plenty of windows. So you got two windows right here on that corner. You got one right there. You got another one looking at the back of your roof. And let's see what's hiding behind this door here. You do got a linen closet or a good spot to put away your the toys or board games. Got another window right there. And you guys remember the open to below right over here. And I'm assuming right here you got your AC units. Yep, you got double AC units in such a big house. And here's the soccer player of the house. You had the soccer field out back. And then now, this one had a pretty cool closet. You see, it's like incorporated into the shape of a house, really. But it's a little walk-in closet, for sure. You could maybe even put another shelf right here, but uh, the door might not close. Pretty cool. And then right over here, you got your bathroom for the upstairs loft and then the two bedrooms as well. I like how when you did the grand option, they added two rooms instead of just one. Since this home comes standard as a 
two bedroom, you need that, that extra room space. But yeah, this room is actually pretty big as well. And don't mind all the tape. Um, they're just doing a VIP launch right now. So they're still fixing things around the house. But this is for the future astronaut of the house. As you can see right here. So I wanted to thank you guys for joining me in today's video of this Coral Grand. I had a great time showing you around this home. As you can see, I like to have fun. Now, I gotta try one more time if I can make a goal. I know I've missed twice already, but now I don't have a phone in my hand. So come with me. Ah, oh, I missed it, yeah, no. But again, thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this video and enjoyed my quirkiness, please like, comment, and subscribe. If you or anybody else you know is looking at buying a new home in the Central Florida area, feel free to reach out to me. I'd love to help you guys out. But in the meantime, see you on the next video. Bye-bye.